Hello, this is James Jopling. I'm with Shoppers Farm Supply. And today we're going to go over the bugs that we put into the 2016 contest in which we hold. Okay, the first bug that we have is the complaint is that there's a whistling noise whenever there's a high demand for power. What we've done is actually remove the clamp and what it will be is the after cooler hose and this is where the air comes from the turbocharger comes through this cooler charge air cooler and then back to the engine because what we've done is remove the clamp as to where whenever the turbocharger pressurizes the system it'll actually blow off like that and it will cause air leak and a hissing and whistling noise okay the second the second bug of which we have introduced is back over on the rock shaft. The uh, lift arms and back, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but they don't, the complaint is they won't come all the way up. They only come half the way up. Now on the other side, the front side, there's what is called a feedback linkage. In my little check manual, and I shall show you quickly, What we have in there is, there's actually a dimension for that feedback linkage. And essentially, this is the feedback linkage. It's connected, it's hard to see, but it's connected to the rock shaft arm, so when it comes up, it moves it back and forth. When it comes down, you know, it moves it forward. Okay, there's a dimension between the end of the thread and the nut. And what I've done is manipulated that dimension. Instead of three quarter to seven eighths of an inch, I've got it approximately an inch and a half. And that keeps it from coming all the way up because with that linkage moved as it is, it's closing a valve off since it's indicated that it is at full stroke. It's already come all the way up. Another one of the problems of which we'd introduced to it is called the rate of drop screw. It's on the other side of the tractor. Chain it to it go on the other side of the tractor. Alright, I'm just gonna turn some of the back. On the other side of the tractor over here, this little knob is a rate of drop. Okay, what I had done is I unscrewed it all the way, which what that does is it opens a passageway up for the oil to return as quickly as possible. The complaint was that the oil or the uh, implement was actually dropping too fast. Most of the time, the complaint is that it will not drop fast enough. Now, generally with that complaint, that means that rate of drop orifice is what it is, a variable orifice that rate of drop is actually closed off too much. So instead of having closed off too much, I opened it all the way. Therefore, it's allowing oil to return too quickly. Um, now the next little issue of which we introduced, uh, and it's gonna be noisy just for a second, is whenever you either boot up or start the tractor, it's going to beep. It'll be, and you have a constant light for the engine on and a caution light. Now, what we've done is in our procedure set in the tech manual, the first procedure is to pull the uh, onboard diagnostics. And there's a uh, procedure in here as to how to do that. You'll press and hold this rocker switch for number of seconds okay and then you see on the display the ECU 9104 okay that's the fault code of which we had generated now if you go through the procedure step by step after you look the uh, fault code up if you go by the procedure what it will lead you to is there's an issue with this foot throttle it's analog it's electronically controlled but it's an analog 
throttle input signal issue. Now, I'll be around that side of the tractor real quick and I'll show you specifically where that issue resides. Okay. In the test procedures, what we would be doing is going through the entire circuit, uh, but we'll start down here at this potentiometer. This is the analog throttle input potentiometer for the foot. The foot and the hand throttle both have the same potentiometer, but what I've done on this one is slightly disconnected it, and that caused the input to be open. So. But in test procedures, you would be checking to see if you had the 5 volt providence, the ground, and the reflect reference. That would be in test procedures. But if they, if the individuals would go to the point as to where they would be testing potentiometer, then this would be found. So that, uh, those are bugs for the year 2016. And again, I'm James Joffling, and I thank you very much for Shopper's Farm Supply.